We all know those moms that go way too far during the Christmas season and sometimes ruins it for others. Warning, this is only for fun, so please don't be offended and don't blow up the comment section. We are just having some fun here. I can identify with some of these crazy moms that ruined Christmas. Not only was my mom a little bit overzealous during the holidays, baking every Christmas treat known to man, then watching her kids stuff their faces with delight all the while their blood sugar is going through the roof. Now, my lovely bride of 31 years is known to wear the Christmas footy pajamas while sipping on her hot cocoa and listening to the same Christmas song for the hundredth time. And then let's not talk about the movies. That's another subject. So yes, I can relate. So sit back and have some fun with this. Can you admittedly identify yourself in one of these crazy moms? Let us know in comments. Let us know about some of your crazy events and which one do you identify with? One, the overachiever. Oh yes, we know who you are. Not only do you have the matching sweaters for the whole entire family, but the matching pajamas as well. They are packing some serious heat with the camera too, capturing every single detail of the holidays and nothing, I mean nothing, slips by them. They look at you with scorn if you don't even dare to try to keep up with their Christmas pace. To them, you are a Christmas wuss if you can't hang. It's not about just having Christmas lights up in the front. It's got to be on the sides and back as well of the house. Then, how can we forget all the Christmas trinkets that she purchased off the late night shopping network or your local dollar store? Yes, that musical toilet seat is cute, but do we really need it? Two, the holiday prepper. This is the mom that is always looking for bargains and it doesn't start on Black Friday. Oh no, this starts on January 1. She is scouring the stores to find those amazing closeout deals. Her mind all year long is in survival and preparation for Christmas mode. She has an arsenal of future presents hiding in her secret bunker that no one knows of. Each time she places another gift in that safe place, she smiles with glee. Again, remember the holiday prepper lives and breathes it always scanning and searching every store aisle for a deal. She lives in anticipation to find out what that hot toy will be months in advance before any others. She doesn't just buy one, she buys two or three, then she sells the others on eBay for the highest bidder. Then you have the decorating supplies. She laughs with a deep chuckle. Burnout Christmas lights, you say? She has another 50 packs in the basement ready to go. You can't slow down this holiday prepper. There is certainly a twinkle in her eyes. She's comforted knowing in her heart that she is prepared for C-Day 25. Three, the first time mommy. Ah, who doesn't love a little baby around Christmas time? This is the very moment first time mommy has been waiting for all year. She lavishes her little newborn with the cutest outfit you could find, and on top of it, a Santa's hat. Never sending any Christmas cards in the past, but you are now sure to get a 50 photo spread along with that card this year. Let's not forget, she's got the local mall on speed dial to find out when Santa will be there. Your precious little baby must see Santa. First time mommy has glimmering dreams of the little tyke in Santa's arms. But sadly, once mommy gets the photos that she had hoped for, her baby's doing what babies do. Either they're puking, pooping, crying, or sleeping in Santa's arms. It dashes your Christmas dreams. But bless your heart, first time mommy. Yes, there's a lot of other mommies that have been there too. Four, the overspender. You have many families around the world preparing to purchase gifts for their children. I'm sure we all can agree that majority consider some type of budget, and yes, there are some that even kind of go a little out of hand, but within reason. Then we have the overspender. Anything and everything is fair game. The credit card is locked and loaded. Refinancing the house is a possible consideration. Anything for the kids. It doesn't matter how ridiculous the gift is. If little Johnny wants it, he's got it. He is the only four-year-old that I know that has a 52-inch flat screen TV in his room, along with the most expensive tablet money can buy and the latest, greatest gaming machine. Yes, overspending mommy, Johnny will just love you with all his new gifts. Five, the time manager slash organizer. This is the mom that has the latest, greatest time management tool downloaded on her smartphone. 
Throughout the year, she has her little ones on a rigid schedule. Every breathing moment is thought out and planned for. Just to even add something to the schedule would be an act of Congress. Now, let's fast forward to the Christmas season. This mommy has stayed up all night, months in advance, strategically planning the holidays with the family down to the smallest details. For example, we can't just decorate the tree whenever we want. Oh no, it's got to be scheduled precisely at 5.23 p.m. on Thanksgiving evening. And then on Christmas Day, the time to pass out the gifts. Everything is ready like a drill sergeant's platoon. Not one is even permitted to break rank and file. The gifts are organized down to whom goes first and how they must be opened. Photos will be taken with proper timing and synchronization. Did the kids enjoy Christmas, you might ask? Hmm, let me see. Exactly, at 9.35 p.m. on Christmas Day, the decorations will be neatly packed away in storage, and at 10 p.m., the family was getting their marching orders for the following week in preparation for New Year's. You tell me. Six, the disorganized mom. Then we finally have the disorganized mom, and what's even more funny, many or majority can identify with this mom. As much as you want to make Christmas extra special for all, and especially for the kids, life just gets in the way. You work your fingers to the bones in your Monday nine to five job only to come home to clean the house and cook dinner. Shopping for Christmas stuff throughout the year? What? You're doing your best to get the kids to school on time and soccer practice and basketball. You don't have time to go shopping. Your shopping for Christmas is a mad dash on the morning of Christmas Eve fighting all the other disorganized moms. The glorified spreadsheet that time manager slash organizer mom has? You are lucky enough to even know how to turn on the computer, let alone make a spreadsheet. Don't worry, disorganized mom. You are among the ranks of millions of other moms. Just do what you do best. Love your precious babies like you do all year. Make sure they understand the true spirit of Christmas, and that is the reason for the season, Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening, and we here at Sugar Shack 7 wants to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas.